Take two, Coon Cassius, IFL TV, in association with MTK Global, we're in Belfast. I'm with Philip Sutcliffe Jr. Is that alright? That, that, that's better. I don't know how I'll get it, <laughs> I'll, I'll get it confused, but anyway. Um, win for you tonight, rounds in the... Yeah, the do you know what, it's been a couple of rounds, I've stopped sparring three weeks ago, because, I've oh, nearly four weeks now, because you know, I meant to fight, I meant to fight three weeks ago, up in Belfast, we were meant to have a good old, uh, good old eight round fight lined up, but obviously, Things happened in boxing and the fight was changed, but I was happy to get in there and get a couple of rounds in before this fight in May. Yeah, um, how did you assess that? Do you know what? Like? The rounds, <laughs> to be honest with you, it was like, it was a move round. It was a move round, but I enjoyed it anyway and got, got the ring was still, would you say. Well, even though I had 40 rounds of sparring for the last fight, and I, it, just, it was just good to be back in the ring again, you know. Obviously, all attention now turns to Leeds. May 13th. May 13th uh, against Josh Lever. So, running camp for you now? Yeah, I have seven and a half weeks. I'm going to take a couple of days off, back into training, get some sparring, and then we go from there. A lot of people saying good things about Josh Lever, um, how good he is. Um, what do you make of him? Do you know what? I've, I've watched one or two of his fights. I haven't, you know, I haven't sat down and studied them, I haven't even looked. Look past the fight because I was told I was meant to fight another guy, Gillespie, and I wasn't going to look past that. So I still haven't had a look yet, you know, that way. So I'm going to put a little bit of look into it and look on ways to beat him with my team and see what, see, see what the best tactics are, you know. And you're fighting for an IBF in the Continental title as well. Yes. So Even uh, better again. Well, get your ratings up in the IBF. I'd say top 15 spot, isn't it? Top 15 in the world to get you. So look, it's going to be. We're gonna have my head down for this camp, you know, there's no excuses. I have seven and a half weeks to get ready. I'm gonna have some nice barn then and get ready for Josh Letter, you know. The best thing we're gonna do. But the objective tonight, all these boxes of ticks really, wouldn't it? You've you know got what? a few rounds and in the ring. Yeah. You're back in the ring, get used to being back in the ring, tick some boxes off and look, back out, I'm on telly. I don't mind, I'm in the ring, I'm doing what I love, I'm getting the fights now. Doesn't matter who I'm fighting. I'm getting the, the opportunity now of a big foot and opportunity in May, so I'm, that's what I'm going to showcase and put my head down for, you know. Definitely. What have you done different with you? your hair? You used to love rubbing your fingers through my hair, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, even got, I even got shaved for you, so you'd know you me now. You cut your hair short, haven't you? Yeah, shaved, yeah. 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 It looks nice. <laughs> <laughs> it does, it looks nice. Yeah, yeah, I wanted to say it to you earlier on, but you was walking to the ring, and I thought, I don't want to put you so off. So who's that? Is that Peter or Philip? Philip. <laughs> God. Um... I see you've got about 800 sponsors there, so do you want to shout any of them out? So now I want to shout out to all the boys here, the Herberton, my own crew, MTK, um, Irish Altio Chambers, SR Ventilation, Prestige Autos, Leo's Fish and Chips for the best fish and chips in Dublin, <laughs> yeah. and uh, all the boys on the back there, Kingstar, oh, Just Lions, and my two strength and conditioning boys, happy, all, all, everything's standard, everyone's standing to come on board and help out, you know, so it's, it's looking good, you know, so. Oh, good. Now, you might know this, but I'm going to let you in a little bit of uh, gossip. Sean Turner just called out Tony Bellew. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I'd let you know. I'm going to tell everyone tonight, Sean Turner just called out Tony Do you know what, Tony Sean? Bellew. Fair play, dear. Good man. If uh, David Hay couldn't knock him out, maybe you can. I don't know. Look, Sean, in fairness to Sean, Sean, for any man. He will fight anyone. He doesn't, he doesn't care, like, but uh, there's a long way of your books. <laughs> But uh, no, fair play to him, say a ball and Sean as well, as Dublin lad. But look, that's that's the way things are. <laughs> Obviously, he's saying money there, it won't be happening, you know. Don't think Bellew, Bellew will take the money Sean has in his bank. Or <laughs> 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 under his mattress either. Alright, we won't go into that. Philip, thank you very much for talking to IFL TV. Uh, well done, and obviously we look forward to May 13th. Sound, sound good. Cool. Right. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Sound.